many opportunities. He has nothing to lose. Why not come out of the wilderness, attack everything it sees, kill something, suck the blood out, make him feel alive for once more? Let them try to restrain him. He has nothing to lose. And for now, it can fly to the highest redwood, look out over the world, despise the world, the world that made him be alone, leaving him alone. Who will carry his name? Who will care for him when he is old? Who can he read bedtime stories to? For now, it can feel death creeping upon him, closer and closer. He wants to scream. He calls upon nature, the tides rise, earthquakes shatter homes. He does not feel vindicated. He is lost. And for now, she can swim to the deepest, darkest cave in the Pacific, hide from the solitude, swim lower and lower. Can she find where all the other animals and dying species hide? Can she find them? There must be others. They can understand. They can live together at the bottom of the earth. Could they show their pain for their species? Share what is left of their love? Create a new race? Soon they will be no more, and we will be taking their bones, and we will be reassembling them, studying their form, rebuilding their lives, revering them more than we ever did in life. This is what it all becomes. This is what it all boils down to. Study the bones. Study the mistakes. Study the bones.